everybody, and welcome to Slay the Princess, the pristine cut. Uh, a bit of a different game I'm playing here. Uh, I haven't really done a visual novel style game, but that's what this is. A horror themed, of course, it's October. And uh, this version in particular uh, comes out on the uh, 24th. I got my hands on it a couple days early here. So thank you to uh, Black Tabby Games for sending me a code. It was very, very awesome. Uh, now, this pristine cut in general, um, apparently it's just like a huge, it's a free upgrade to the original game, which you'll love to see it. Oh my God. Amazing. And it adds, according to their, their patch notes, it adds roughly about 35% more to what the hell? Okay. Uh, 35% more <laughs> to the game with like thousands of voice lines and thousands of art pieces and whatnot. That being said, I have not played the original, so I don't know the new things that have been added or the old things that have been changed or just anything in general about this game. It's got really good reviews. I was really interested in the art style. I love the, the rough sketch kind of art here. But we're going to jump right in. The Hero and the Princess, Chapter 1. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that oh. path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Epic. I love the, the parallaxing here. I love to see that. I don't know why that's so satisfying to me, just moving the mouse and... And seeing other things move. What do we got here? We've got, uh, what is this? History? Dialogue history is empty? Okay. Auto, I'm guessing auto, uh, move forward there, save, and then the, oh yeah, all the preferences. Very cool. Okay, cool. You're here to slay her. Excellent. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. No problem, dude. I got this. I fucking got this. She ain't gonna get past me. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Uh, have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing the princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Uh, can't someone else do this? <laughs> Forget it, I'm not doing this. Uh, imagine it just ends the game right there. Uh, have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Uh, do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet. I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue to the cabin or turn around and leave. Uh, no, viva, viva la, la, la revolution, baby. That's the spirit. Hey, the narrator likes us. You That's always a good sign in a game. Path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. Oh, come on, bro, send it. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Don't worry, dude. The Thought Patrol has arrived. This, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Not me, brother. Voice of the hero. Okay, specifically, we are a hero, I guess. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, uh, never mind. I guess that's not us. <laughs> Proceed into the cabin. Bring it on, bitch. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely yeah, bare. I... The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table, is a pristine blade. Ooh, mayhaps with a pristine cut? The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hell yeah. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Who the fuck is narrating here? Oh, <laughs> I just now questioned it. Oh, look, my cursor changed. Now I got a little pokey. Enter the basement. 
I wonder if we're actually the being led astray. Creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, as I was saying, the I don't know if we're being led astray by this uh, narrator character, uh, but every fiber in my being says that we are because the game, the name of the game is Slay the Princess, so it can't be that easy, right? Surely. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Uh, my name's Pat Pat. I'm here to kill you. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Yeah, right. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You got it, brother. Just checking in on you. <laughs> hey, I think I'm here to kill you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, these are such wonderful options. Uh, we're just gonna go with a simple Don't hey. Be a stranger, and it's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Yeah, okay, that's very, uh... You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. That is not There's the tone of voice. There's a around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Good. That is not the tone of voice when you are in this position. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely red flag number one. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Literally? Everything I know about this world? Yes. Focus on the task at hand. You got it. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Why does she look so disgusted, bitch? I'm definitely fucking killing you. Uh... Well, no way. Why would you even think that? Uh, okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. N no, -uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Uh, yeah, no, you caught me. I'm here to kill you. That isn't a good idea. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. Now, I know this is a visual novel, and talking is going to be like the main fucking point of the game. She's Kinda right. just we wanna should, fucking we should just stick a knife in her throat. Blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. And who the fuck do you think I am? That this isn't beneath me. Tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. Oh, don't look with the puppy, di puppy dog eyes now, bitch. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. <laughs> All right, bitch. <laughs> okay. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Let's go, you fucking oh, dickhead. No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? The knife in my hand? Maybe? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. She's got some, like, uh... <laughs> Self-defense training, I'm sure. Being a princess and all. But also, like... Did I put her here? I don't know. We kind of just stumbled upon it. In, in the opening cutscene. So... You should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Well, now that I say that, I'm assuming you can't really do much considering that you were captured and chained here in the first place. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. You got it, brother. I'm, dro I'm not dropping the blade. Drop the blade. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Uh, are you sure she's not armed? Uh, I'm sorry, can we just talk? Uh, no, I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Then you'll die. <laughs> Dumbass. Let's go. Let's get it. 
Uh, fine, I guess we're at an impasse. Going to the princess while holding the blade. Drop the blade, slay the princess. Well, roll credits, baby. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Holy shit, my hand is fucking rancid. Oh my god. Dude, those nails. Holy shit. Slay, queen. Okay. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Yeah, figured. Figured I can't do anything right, right off the bat. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Ugh. Well, now I'm in trouble because <laughs> that's, uh... <laughs> That's concerning in this, you know, day and age with this medical advances. Uh, ooh. Holy shit, that hurt. Though yep. she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through the air again oh, damn. and again, and her fists connect oh, with there's your blood body on my as many now. times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Okay, I will say that one right there, that's a deep fucking cut, dude. God damn, look at the chunk I took out of that. Yeah, damn. Okay. We can still turn this around. I think we're well past that, friend. Look at the look in her eye, dude. She is not backing down. Finish the goddamn job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You God damn, won't those make wounds it out are here alive, fucking deep. But you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Shit, I'm already about to die. Excuse me. Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. <laughs> honestly, yeah. Uh, I don't know how fucked up I am with just her fists. There's not even any blood on her fists. But, uh, yeah, very, uh, what is that game? The Stanley Parable? That's what it gives me vibes of. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Cool. So she just straight up kidney punched me. The two of you clash for hey. the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain. Oh, there is blood on her Falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. You fucked, loser. Oh. The two of you fall to the floor. This was fun. Was it? The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. Well, you put up more of a fight than I thought you would, but I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? I'm not going to lie to you. I was kind of hoping <laughs> just a quick, just a quick 13 minute video. Just put it out there. <laughs> but you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark and you die. Well, that sounds like the end to me for sure. Nope, chapter two, the adversary. Ooh. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. The fuck? It just starts and in over? in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Do I just keep killing her over and over and over again, <laughs> and then things change? You're here to slay her. If you don't... The world will it, end, we know. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm seriously getting a sense of, uh, deja vu. Wait, this already happened. Okay, no. <laughs> but I died. What am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. Uh, but I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I'm picking I can that one. assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. Okay. This is so weird. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. What do you mean if he doesn't remember what happened? I do. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot. Oh, he was you telling that to me. Secrets from me. Oh, okay. Okay, I miss I misread that situation for sure. He was telling me to uh, 
keep my mouth shut That's to the narrator. Fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. The voice of the stubborn. That's me, baby. <laughs> That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Okay. Uh, let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. It does. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Nope. I'm pretty sure I followed all the prompts correctly, sir. We did our best with the information we were given. And we did kill her. Yeah. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. Okay, fair. <laughs> and I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. He's got a point. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? That's actually a good point, because we wouldn't have remembered if it was just a simple rewinding of time and then we would have done that again and looped forever so who cares uh another world entirely is an interesting thing to bring up <laughs> uh okay Had you failed to slay the princess what would have happened to everyone in the place you left it would have just uh disappeared i guess Ugh. enough with the talking we've got a fight to win Nothing else matters. I He's got also got a point. The captain <laughs> and your destined confrontation with the princess awaits. You got it, bro. Uh, let's talk about the princess real quick. Let's Just explore a little more. Uh, we killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, all she did last time was beat me to death. How can someone like that in the world... Uh, to quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. Why is she strong enough to beat me to death with her bare hands? That's a good point. Uh, who locked her in the basement? What is this place? That's also another good point. I hope I can do both of these, but she I'm going to do this one first. just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin and you'll be fine. I doubt that. Uh, oh, we can do all of them, I guess. Who locked her in the basement? What is People this place? locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. You know, <laughs> he's also got a point. <laughs> oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? Uh, because I'm fucking curious as There's shit, bro. There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. I wonder how many times I can do this loop. Like, if I just keep killing her over and over and over again? That'd be interesting. Um, if people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Who the fuck am I? Because my... Am I, a, like, a leper? <laughs> With that freaking monkey paw I got as a cursor right now? Uh, you're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? Uh, let's ask why they couldn't kill her. I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. That seems real patronizing, and I, uh, don't appreciate that, actually. <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. Oh. I didn't know we were special. Shut up. Yeah, I like the sound of that. You shut up too. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Fuck you. <laughs> That's why. Uh, uh, what aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. 
going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. Really? Now why is that? Uh, we killed each other. Uh, how can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. I mean, I kind of fucking did that, though. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh we warning. did have the... Before you go any further. We did have the option to just turn around and leave, which is very interesting. I, uh, it didn't click in my head right there. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Well... The, the the cheating part, not necessarily true, I guess. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. Also, he's not questioning the fact that there are other voices that are joining the call. <laughs> oh, God. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? I mean, I've got no reason to distrust him. Crystal, let's just get on with it already. See to the cabin. Let's go get this double kill. The cabin is tighter than its this exterior is would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay, this is an interesting turn for sure. See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. The blade is your I wonder implement. if it'll be a different You'll princess. Need it if you want to do this right. Like, what if... Oh, that'd be interesting. What if we could... Theoretically, uh, save... Each one... Individually. And we just kind of get to pick and choose. <laughs> uh, you didn't say anything about a mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. Approach the mirror and take the blade. Uh, you didn't say anything That's about the mirror. There isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's planks of wood. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? Okay, well now I have a reason to distrust him. Because he either knows and he's lying to me straight up just to my face like an idiot. Or he can't perceive it. Which means he might not be all-knowing, which means I shouldn't trust in him altogether, you know? Like all my eggs in one basket. Uh, <laughs> I care about whether I'm lied to. That's fine. I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. I really want to pick that option. I want to see our fucking grotesque character that we're playing as, I think. Uh, you're right. It doesn't matter. Remain silent. Approach the mirror. I like they remain silent. I wonder how far in the game you can get with not saying a goddamn word. That'd be very funny. Uh, I care whether or about I'm being lied to. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Hey man, if I'm meeting a fucking royal, like, I need to make sure my shit's unlocked, you know? Maybe I gotta get my hair did. I definitely gotta get my nails did. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, this whole cabin is different from last time. Very different. 
Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Wow. I've got video evidence that says otherwise, sir. So focus sir. up. The world is depending on you. I know, I know. Uh, let's take the blade? You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then let's look at the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. <laughs> there isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. I laughed. I actually laughed. <laughs> you heard it? Uh, wipe the mirror clean. You reach Ew. forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Dude, am I like a lizard man? What the hell? I don't look human. Straight up. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. Interesting. Okay, let's just head in. Let's see, uh... The door to the basement I was right about the new princess, Revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. Shh, okay. This one's a little more feisty, it seems. This isn't what she sounded like last time. No, it ain't. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Well, the other one was kind of threatening, I'm not gonna lie. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. Okay, you need to keep it in your pants, boy. Tape it to your leg. Jesus. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Fair. It's not like there's actual combat in this As game anyway. Oh, final shit! Step, the, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. It's Karlak. Kinda. <laughs> Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Yeah, what the hell? Are they enchanted or something? Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. Excuse me? That just opened up a whole fucking can of worms. The fuck are you talking about, lady? And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. Also, she's huge. This is a big bitch right here, dude. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. If I wasn't here to kill you, death by snoo snoo is probably the second best thing. If that'll reload me and I can- Shit, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I considered it for half a second there. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than the last time, and la but last time definitely happened. You look different, uh, so you do remember me. Uh, I'm actually here to free you. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first. Like how we've bo we're both still alive. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Slay the princess. I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Goodbye. Turn around and take your leave. Or we could just do it without saying a word. We're going to tell the narrator that okay, shit's going on. Fine. Let's say for a moment I believe you. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke, and beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened last time. If the narrator's the only one that doesn't carry over his sentient thoughts, like, that's such an interesting concept. Because usually it's the complete opposite, where the narrator, you know, 
knows all. And it's kind of that, uh, that irony of it all. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Okay. Interesting thought. Uh, you look different. You look exactly the same. Yeah, why is that actually? <laughs> now that you mention it, that's a good point. Uh, so you do remember me. Oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? Okay. That was, uh, specifically written to take out of context. For sure. See? She wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around talking. Okay. Actually, you're free. I am not. You fucking bitch. You just killed me. I'm not saying we just got some stuff to unpack, like how we're both alive. I kind of really want to do this one. I kind of just want to... Oh, no. Oh, the prompt change from slay the princess to attack the princess. That makes me think it's not going to be successful. Well, then I'm going to go with this option here. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Did she have three horns before? I feel like she just had two. Am I crazy? Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Actually, that's a... Uh, that's a pretty enticing offer. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, cool. Actually, free you. I haven't decided. Attack. Uh, Alright. Get fucked. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the whetstone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count alright. Somehow I doubt it. Somehow I seriously doubt it. As you bridge the gap, Ooh, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. Nice. Good shit, brother. But she's That's, unfazed okay. by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. All right, well, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, uh, kind of saw that coming. <laughs> you can hear her chains snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. Eey. That's she not good. Looks disappointed in us. Why is she disappointed in us? Why does she have more pose now? <laughs> oh, you don't actually get it, do you? No, bitch, I just got here. I've literally been playing this game for 33 fucking minutes, bro. That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. Dude, I want to kill you so fucking bad. You have no idea. <laughs> it's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. Is that an option? I wonder. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? What's the point indeed? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. So weird that she just wants don't to fight. Don't get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. And don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Oh, and then the stubborn guy is going to say, No, go for the heart, retard! The don't mouth. listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. I kind of want to bleed her out just because she said she straight up doesn't want that. And that's kind of my jam right now. <laughs> uh, bait an over opening and her, uh, strike at her heart head on. No, we're going to bait an opening and outmaneuver her. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. 
trying. God damn it. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have little moon to manoeuvre. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each impact threatening to be the last. God damn. This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. Shit, bro. Princess got hands. What am I to do? And I'm She's dead. throwing us around like a rag doll. I think overpowering her is a little out of the question. Yeah. Did you Agreed. think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place. And I own you. All right, calm down. You were held prisoner here, dumbass. Princess's hey. arm shoots forward, her palm wrapping around your head, fingers gripping your skull. I actually got to turn down the, the, the... I guess the sound volume? Those are fucking loud, those hits. <laughs> How disappointing. Yeah, okay. She squeezes. Oh, pressure dude. unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Okay, well that was severely unsuccessful. Everything goes dark and you die. All right, round three, baby. Chapter three, The Eye of the Needle. You're on a path in the wood. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. All right. You know what? Calm down, dude. <laughs> Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. Ooh, the voice of the hunted. Interesting. So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. True. That's a fair point, actually. <laughs> Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Hey, we got an ending, bro. <laughs> Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Uh oh. Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. So why the fuck is it starting us here, I wonder? And not somewhere else, you know, specifically? Why is it right when we quote unquote meet the narrator? It doesn't matter. We could go in circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin. See this through. It's good you to know it. that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other. And I don't trust you. An other? I think it just means in general. Uh, we haven't talked enough about how different this place is. I wouldn't even call these woods. It's like our influence has poured out into the world. Uh, what if I don't agree with the plan? If I'd rather go do something else? No matter what happens next, it seems like all our answers are in that cabin. We might as well see this through. Or stay silent. I'm done with this, bye! Nah, we're gonna get her eventually. Uh, let's talk about the, uh, the woods here. It's evidence of one of many ticking clocks. You can't let her spread any further. Things are always changing. She changed, the cabin changed, we've changed. Why wouldn't the woods change too? Fair. Because they're not supposed to have changed. This is supposed to be a path in the woods. If it's not, it means something's gone horribly wrong. Uh-oh. Foreshadowing, not good. Uh, what if I don't agree with the plan? No, nah, I agree. That bitch needs to go. No matter what, we gotta go to the cabin. Let's head to the it cabin. Isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, Jagged rocks staring now. up the hill at the cabin. I hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us. No words of warning. <laughs> 
From what I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. Okay. Well, fair. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. I could use a little catharsis. <laughs> catharsis is for when we're finished. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. Interesting concept here, brother. I like it. Proceed to the cabin. That's all we got. Uh, I'm actually going to cut it off there for the first episode. Very interesting premise. I am... I am hooked. This is... This is cool. Uh, we're definitely... Next time, we're definitely going to be going in there and trying to kill her again and again and again and again and again. And it's going to be, you know, a hundred plus episodes of me just trying to kill this bitch. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me ch check the uh, save system here. Empty slots. What the hell? AQ, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Are these just tabs? Oh, these are auto saves. Okay. These are quick saves. Okay, this is page one. Oh, I can read, fellers. Let's actually just put that there. Okay, and I love that it gives you the exact date and time of when I played it. That's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you in the next one.